Welcome to Flood Data Teacher. So far, we have seen list view and list dot builder in separate videos. In this video, based on four important factors, I'm going to compare list view with list view dot builder. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Let's start from the construct syntax. List view has a children property that takes the list of widgets. So whatever widget that we passed here will be displayed as the scrollable list of items. On other hand, list builder has the item builder that takes the callback function containing two parameters, build context and the index. Now from this function, we must return a widget that represents the individual items in the scrollable list of widget. We can also control the number of items to be displayed by using this item count property. Now let's understand the difference between working principle. We have a list view that contains 10 different elements here and these elements are created by using the function called getItem that takes the index of element and in order to print which element is created I have simply called this print function here which is printing some message along with the index of element. From this function I am returning a container with some margin alignment and color here. In order to display some content on this container we simply have a text that is printing the item along with that we have the index of element to be displayed. Now let me come to this uh, list view here. When I save the code or uh, what uh, we need to observe here, we simply have three items, item 0, item 1 and item 2 on the screen. But you can observe here, your list view has generated all the 10 items in the memory. It means irrespective of number of elements created or displayed on the screen, your list view will generate all the elements present in the list at once. Now let me modify this list view to the list view dot builder. Now we have this list dot builder which is generating 10 elements. For generating the elements again I am using the same function called get item here. Now let me save the code and let's understand uh, what will happen here. We again uh, will have the three elements item 0, 1 and 2 but the observable thing is your list view dot builder won't uh, be generating here all the elements here. In fact, it has generated only the four elements. Now you might be wondering, only three elements are visible while list view dot builder has generated one extra element. The reason uh, here is because of the cache extent, because it has the additional cache extent that can catch the memory for additional element to be displayed on the screen. So if you don't know about what is this cache extent, how it actually works, so I recommend you guys to watch the video for list view or list dot builder. In both that videos, I have explained properly what do you mean by this cache extent and what is the effect of that one. Now, as I scroll down here, you can observe now elements are created. And as I scroll up here, okay, whatever elements which are removed from the memory, those elements will be again recreated. It means in case of your list dot builder, it won't create all the elements at once. In fact, it will create the elements or it will load the elements on demand as users scroll up or down. Now let's talk about the performance factor. List dot builder is optimized for memory and performance because it only builds the item that are currently visible. For large length or heavyweight elements, list view is not efficient. In case of small size list or say uh, some uh, fixed length elements, use of list view may be found efficient. Now frequently asked question is which one to use. If your data is dynamic and frequently changing, for example, data coming from the backend, then list view dot builder is the most suitable. For example, lists like WhatsApp chats, Facebook posts and products of the shopping applications are recommended to create using the list view dot builder. On the other hand, if we have a data which is static or small in size, for, for example, say setting options in application or say items in the drawer and list of alarms are mostly preferred in the list view. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.